Gloria Laura Vanderbilt was born on 20 February 1924 in Manhattan, New York City in the United States, and is an author, artist, actress, social light, as well as a fashion designer, but perhaps best known as a part of the Vanderbilt family, which was one of the most prominent families in the U.S. during the Gilded Age, which constitutes the late 19th century. The success of the family begins with Cornelius Vanderbilt, who created a business empire of railroad and shipping systems, and then ventured on to other businesses. Another noted person in the family is the American journalist and television personality Anderson Cooper, who is Gloria Vanderbilt's son. So, just how rich is Gloria Vanderbilt as of mid-2017? According to Celebrity.Money, Gloria's net worth is estimated to be over $200 million, the majority of her wealth actually coming from her business ventures, not her inheritance. Gloria Vanderbilt's father, Reginald Claypool Vanderbilt, passed away when Gloria was only 18 months old, which in turn made her the youngest heiress to her father's $5 million trust fund. Since she was a minor, the rights to control the fund went to her mother, who was challenged by Gloria's aunt, Gertrude Vanderbilt Whitney, alleging that her mother was an unfit parent, a confrontation which resulted in one of the most infamous trials, later retold in a television miniseries directed by Waris Hussein called Little Gloria, Happy at Last. Gloria was educated at several high schools and attended an art school called Art Students League, where she focused on her artistic skills. Vanderbilt's passion for arts resulted in her also studying at the Neighborhood Playhouse and where she also studied acting. Vanderbilt proved to be a talented artist as her paintings started to be used by a privately owned manufacturer of greeting cards in America, Hallmark Cards. At the same time, Gloria began creating and painting designs specifically for linens and pottery. Gloria Vanderbilt's artistic nature inspired her to venture into the fashion industry too. In 1976, Gloria suggested the production of designer jeans with her logo on them, so Gloria is known as the creator of designer jeans, which became extremely popular all around the world. Vanderbilt did not stop with jeans only. She then went on to launch a line of shoes, perfumes, dresses, blouses, sheets, and other goods, all of which carried Vanderbilt's Swan logo. Vanderbilt then sold her name to the designer company Merjani Group, followed in 1982 by partnering with L'Oreal to create eight perfumes, and evidently named Gloria Vanderbilt. In addition to her other partnerships, Gloria Vanderbilt also founded her own company called GV Limited. Gloria Vanderbilt is also a known author and has published three novels and four memoirs, plus making consistent contributions to such magazines as Elle, Vanity Fair, and the New York Times. Gloria has led an interesting personal life, although not necessarily private. She has been married four times, firstly to actor's agent Paul DeCiso from 41 to 45, then to conductor Leopold Stokowski from 1945 to 55, with whom she had two sons. Director Sidney Lumet was Gloria's third husband from 56 to 63, and the last was author Wyatt Emery Cooper from 63 until his death in 1978, and with whom she has two sons. Gloria had a close friendship with filmmaker Gordon Parks until his death in 2006, and apparently a romantic relationship with Frank Sinatra, Marlon Brando, Roald Dahl, and Howard Hughes. Now well into her 90s, Gloria still lives in New York City, 